imagine now you are running a successful organization you have to set a policy for your organization how to start where to start the first point or how to make that either whatever we are providing as environmental policy will government agree to that that is also there no if you are setting some standard and disclosing in the website the government should also accept that the laws and regulation should, should be below that how the way you can match all this thing which we will discuss in environmental policy as per iso 14001 so this is a guideline which is internationally followed for an organization to setting up environmental policy for an organization the policy should say that how it environmentally impact there are four key elements for setting up environmental policy first one is continual improvement in your policy whenever you are writing i have taken some of the policies from well established industries they are asian paints i have taken some example tech mahindra i have given in last class apple then microsoft these organizations have environmental policy how they set is in their policy you can see this terminology called continual improvement the iso 14001 suggests that there should be a terminology of continual improvement not only in words but in action also it should be in action plan then prevention of pollution that is second key element comply with legal and other requirements all the policies for a organization should comply with the government requirements in india we follow a uh, regulations in us regulations in new zealand they follow different regulations if you are starting an organization in whatever particular country that regulations you should follow imagine a paint asian paint are they selling paint only for india or throughout the world throughout the world they supply now in india when they supply they should have a policy whenever they distribute their product in other countries they should have different policy that should comply with that environment that country and that aspect so environmental policy depends upon the place where you are and whatever regulations laws are applicable you should follow that that is the third point and fourth one is framework of objective and target in your policy you should state your target now this year we have used 3 percentage of rain water apple in 2023 apple organization they have used 3 percentage of rain water every year they used to have rainfall they are utilizing the whole rainfall for their circulation process what they do is they store they treat the rain water they circulate for other purposes how much percentage they are using 3 percentage now for 2025 what they should set a target we should meet at least 7 percentage currently they are using rain water for 3 percentage next year they should target for 7 percentage this year they are consuming example plastic products of 1 metric ton next year what should be their target 0.8 metric ton they should reduce so that should come under the environmental policy there should be a framework of objective and targets so you should have a plastic reduction objective and also parallelly you should state the target so this is what you go to the asian paints website wooden paints are available steels non corrosive paints they supply for pipes also during joining two pipes there should be an adhesive no that is called couplings so if you are joining two pipes you should have an adhesive there should be a glue that glue also they supply they supply most of the uh, hardware items they are using for infrastructure facilities so they have an environmental policy you just go through uh, in their website in that they have stated that the asian paints is committed to managing operations they are completely chemical organization no do they produce any uh, eco friendly material paints are only chemicals nothing but chemicals 
it is a mixture of chemicals if they are disposed in environment it is hazardous also it is flammable either paints are flammable or not highly flammable thinners are all flammable so they are hazardous they also speak on environmental policy this is what i said environmental policy is not only for some organizations it is applicable for all organization and industry they should be committed so how they project even though they are hazardous chemical manufacturing industry what are the things they say they highlight that this, this is their environmental policy 71 percentage of emission in intensity what they have stated here in 2023 they have disclosed this what they are disclosing is they disclosed we have reduced 74 percentage of emission during manufacturing or processing the chemicals there will be air pollution when they are comparing 2013-14 they have reduced 74 percentage this is their target this is their achievement objective 62 percentage of electricity they consume renewable sources when they manufacture paints when they manufacture thinner the adhesives chemicals they consume energy but what energy they consume 62 percentage are renewable energy that is their target so next year how they will set the target currently they are 62 next year it should be 65 continuously they should have a improvement process in order to reduce energy next thing 235 mega gallons of harvested rainwater in their operations rainwater harvesting currently how much they have done 235 mega gallons gallons is an another unit of liter like that they have set some standards so even though they are of completely hazardous manufacturing plant they have set some standards so this is how to take or set the environmental policy now requirements whenever the organization is setting an environmental policy it should be appropriate to what they manufacture if they manufacture chemical hazards or liquid waste more their policy should be relevant to liquid waste more or less when comparing to other things imagine asian paints company purely discussing their policy on a paper waste will it be relevant to their process what they do no if they disclose something like that we have reduced 100 ream of paper this year when we compare to last year if they are disclosing like that will you agree they manufacture paints they manufacture hazards but they speak on paper reduction they should not speak like that whatever you produce the same thing should be applicable to the environmental policy also that is called appropriateness to the organization not only in writing they require they should be remembering that throughout their policy next thing disposal of chemicals the paint industry should speak on their policy relevant to what disposal of chemicals how they dispose chemicals how much they reduce their disposal these things should be written in their environmental policy waste created by your cafeteria would be incorrect this is what they say the asian paint should not write in their environmental policy related to cafeteria in our cafeteria we will not use any plastic products we will only use um, organic foods if they are giving in their environmental policy this will not be appropriate so every organization policy should be appropriate on what they produce second one continual improvement in their policy there should be a terminology called continual improvement whatever they produce manufacture there should be a process of identifying and in order to improve them what process they do how they improve for the next year this should be there and a commitment should be there for continual improvement this is the second thing can you see this word in asian paints where they have written asian paints is committed can you see that word why they are stating this word because iso 14001 
guidelines that the organization should have this terminology they should be committed for continual improvement third one is prevention of pollution how they prevent pollution they should be stating in terms of documents not only in words or word of mouth they should also state in documentation if they are coming for any audit example 2025 they are coming for an audit they might ask the report of 2013 what was your carbon disposal or in paint industries what product they constantly uses plastics how they supply their product by using plastics no they will be having small cans how you take the paints company is continuously using the plastic for their sales and supply in the sense they have to reuse that same plastic again and again to reduce their waste so this is one of the prevention pollution strategy during an audit they can ask 2013 14 what was your uh, plastic consumption 2019 what was your consumption what is your current consumption in next year what could be your consumption their targets might be asked next one comply with legal and other requirements what are the laws in india we have green india mission save soil mission the private organization mission like that how many legal compliances you have this should be there comply with all legal requirements for discharge or effluent you need to agree that we will meet all the laws and stipulations in a place if you are supplying your product in any country that laws has to be obeyed and agreed some of the examples are clean air act waste water act fifth one in all environmental policy you should have a framework for objectives and targets what are the objectives reduction of plastics zero discharge have i discussed in last class zero discharge is if any industry is letting out water waste they should convert the waste water or effluent into solid waste that is called what zero discharge monitoring and reducing harmful effects of chemicals creation of your product ultimately needs to relate this these are additional requirements first thing is document the implemented policy and maintain it should be maintained irrespective of the year it should be a written document here this document can be hard copy or soft copy but it should not be word of mouth that means the company should not state in word of mouth that in 2000 we are manufacturing this number of vehicles they should not say in words they should be either hard copy or soft copy according to iso 14000 there have been plans made resources assigned commitments policies whatever is happened they should be documenting these things it has to be reviewed and updated communicated to all employees the policy should be disclosed to all how i have viewed the asian paints policy they are disclosing to public no i am a public we are all public the company should disclose their environmental policies to employee and it should be disclosed to public also not only the management people the employees also should involve in this process next one is available to public all the public should be knowing that whatever your environmental policy and it should be disclosed in a website and made available during an inquiry this is how i have taken i have taken from their website so their policy should be there in external website it should be simple to understand by others this is a complete cycle of environmental management system iso has given for irrespective of any organization you should follow this ems tech mahindra how they are following the environmental system apple organization what are the improvement they do for environmental 
sustainability then i have discussed to you microsoft how they are improving and how they are implementing the environmental system this is a system which all the organizations do initial environmental review there are two types of review management review so during any environmental management process you have management review here but before setting an environmental policy you should do a review is called initial environmental review so there is a difference between initial environmental review and the management review so the definition is given here it should be the baseline or the foundation of ems environmental management standard is the first step of ems to perform a initial environmental review for setting any ems the first step what you have to do is initial environmental review this creates a road map and what are the things to be considered in the initial environmental review is review of previous environmental issues this will be done consider the regulations and the operational impact after doing a cycle see after doing this environmental policy planning implementation checking corrective actions then there will be a management review after this review you need to conduct an initial environmental review by taking the report from management review you have to consider the regulations and operational impact identify and evaluate the possibilities you have to set target for the next year evaluate and identify the issues in your organization whatever you are doing currently you have to outline that there is a difference between audit and initial environmental review what are they is initial assessment helps to create an ems this creates an ems and audit is a performance of an organization it is a evaluation after keeping some objective and target after measuring after monitoring then you will be getting an audit after an audit whatever you are setting is initial environmental review okay what are the purpose of initial environmental review yearly they might provide some environmental policy for setting a policy you need review if any breaches happen identifying potential breaches and environmental legislation the law of the country is called legislation if any law breaches is happening during the previous policy which will be reviewed for an operation you will quantify the emissions or discharges discharges are generally water oriented material is solid how much of solid waste is disposed identify the opportunities for improving and minimizing waste so for that you need ier and develop an environmental policy etc now what are the data is required for initial environmental reviews you should gather the data during the previous review and identify the business environmental impact you can walk around the site and make interview between staffs what are the uses of initial environmental reviews 40% of total environmental management system can implement or save the time during the process if initial environmental review is not done then it will take more time if you have already done the initial environment then 40% of time will be saved then factors considered during ier before doing a ier they will check the history of the previous years they will check the utilities inventory of raw materials during manufacturing it either might be rubber or limestone or silica whatever might be their base material aqueous waste what do you mean by that they are called liquid waste aqueous or liquid whatever waste liquids are there which has to be considered and solid waste you have to take three elements what are they solid liquid and emissions these are called gas so three things you have to take if anything happened for the workers during the time period has to be taken storage and handling how they do storage and how they handle the material 
will be taken during IER. Noise and vibrations will be 